Alrighty, let's get into it today. We're going to talk about some of the stuff that's going on for the money, income, and profit student sections or would be students. So, the beginning, this is what we're going to get into. I want to call your attention to the art of holding, the proper way to set up your holding company structure class. So this is what's going down. Now, there's the art of holding at Hustlers Kung Fu. Go right there. We got that going on. And then we also have the art of holding that's going to be part of your invest yourself. So just so everyone can be clear, no one's going to get confused. I'm going to explain this very slowly and deliberately. Uh, first of all, the art of holding hustler kung fu this is the section where people are paying monthly you're going to get the art of holding monthly classes that's what's coming the people who buy the art of holding mip the structure class that's just a class that's it that's all you get is just that class and that same class is going to go into investing yourself so once again, from the top, the art of holding where people are paying monthly, you're going to get the monthly classes. The people who take the art of holding the structure class, make sure the art of holding the proper way to set up your holding company and structure class. That is all you get. You do not get the monthly. You're just going to get the class unless you opt into a monthly situation. And this same class will be copied and it will also go into invest in yourself. So there you go. Once this class is done, the first section will be dropping Sunday, February 24th. The price will go up and the price of investing yourself will go up. So that's what we're going to do and make sure. Also, let's get into this real quick. Go down here. And let's get into investing yourself. Let's go to the curriculum and let's go here. All right. So as promised, the first exercise, your money frame, which is 46 minutes and 57 seconds. All right. So that class is good to go. Um, this is in investing yourself. So if you bought invest in yourself or you're being added in investing yourself, it's going to be the first thing. And it's going to take you some time because once you go through all the exercises, it's going to be a minute. This will probably be the most important class in investing yourself because it's going to set up the foundation of how to make money because there's a lot of people who are currently getting into mindset. Since 2011, I've been talking about mindset. And I think a lot of people have been jacking my courses and content because all of a sudden it's like all the popular rage. To be sure, if your current mindset was good enough to get you where you need to be, you would be there. Since you are not where you need to be, your current mindset needs improvement. And that's what we're going to do with the money frame. We're going to get into mindset. We're going to get into foundational stuff. We're going to get into science and we're going to get into the proper things. Now, that's what's going on. And then today's Thursday. Tomorrow, I will be getting into more training. Um, I'll. Because the thing is, I'm researching this. I'm taking in a lot of data. So this will not be like super, super quick. I'm not going to throw some up here. Uh, this will be information that will withstand the test of time. This is training. This is what I did to get where I'm getting. And I talked about it. Matter of fact, one of the things that I did, let's come out of there. And... Well, let's see, let's go here. Money management. And let's see. All right, every time I 
do some stuff it messes with the stream so I'm gonna come out of this section very quickly okay so we'll get to the curriculum I went ahead and put the hustlers mindset audiobook into the basic into the money management the basics of finance and wealth development and I, I wrote this book 2013 I didn't even know that and I was listening to it and I was like this makes a good place for to put this because you need the correct mindset to deploy the training to change your life it is very very important that you get into the proper mindset so once again from the top the art of holding the proper way to set up your holding company structure class starts dropping Sunday February 24th and this is the only thing you get so you enroll and you spend 299 this is it you will not be into the monthly training sessions the people here at the art of holding in hustlers Kung Fu University will be in the monthly training sessions and the art of holding once again the proper way to set up your holding company structure class will become part of investing yourself since this is one thing because there's a lot of people who don't want all that they just want hey and i'm going to explain to you why i'm doing this so let me come out of here and booyah let me get rid of some of these windows because i know it will jack up my stream hold on a second get rid of that Get rid of that and get rid of this and get rid of that. And I think I will leave this up here for a moment. Okay. I also need to get into this real quick. If you buy between now and next Friday, the hustler undergrad you will get everything in money income and profit plus one year of income metamorphosis which will be monthly classes monthly training and some special stuff I have not completely set up but it is coming and the people who were in H undergrad you will be sent a coupon by Vanessa to get into income metamorphosis and income metamorphosis will have everything so there will be no multiple logins and all this other stuff uh, only people who want the um, art of art of holding that's going to be it done over at hustlers kung fu life skills so we should be good to go hopefully that was explained made clear made plain and we're going to get into why i am doing this I get a lot of questions just like, hey, Glendon, I got an LLC. Can I convert an LLC that I've earned five years? And to get these questions all of the time in the comment section, and I'm not going to answer them because I don't want to give you incomplete information. I don't know you. I don't know your business model. I don't know your family situation. I don't know your tax structure. I don't need to know what you're trying to do. And I will explain this. When I used to have the live classes in my office, uh, one gentleman, because I put out some information and I didn't really explain it well, he actually tried to do it and he didn't understand. Like, I'm on a completely different level than most of the people you will see on YouTube, Internet, I'm completely. My, I'm going to explain to you my game plan. I have no dreams of becoming a billionaire. I have no dreams of starting a hundred million dollar company. If what I am doing gets me there, cool. That's not the aim. That's not where I'm trying to go. I have no dreams of, of scaling up. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to say this and it's going to be very elitist. I'm already rich. When you're already rich, the game is to stay rich. The game is to appreciate. The game is to make your money make money. Your game isn't to get rich when you're already rich. 
Now, there's some people who are rich who want to get richer, who want to buy a baguette, a 3.5. I, I have no desires to do any of that. None. My thing is about building a legacy, creating these courses, creating this training that will be a legacy. That's my goal. Because I can get what I want, go where I want, do what I want already. There's got to be a deeper purpose in life. And hopefully many of you will get to that point where it, it ain't about the money. It's about living and enjoying life and having a good time. Like today, uh, all day, I didn't make any videos today because I was uh, working on the frame. I was working on the emails. I was working on setting up the structure stuff. So there probably may not be a video tomorrow and there won't be any on the weekends because the goal was not to do any on the weekends unless I had already set them up. So this is where I'm at. So my, my motivations, my goals, my, my plans, how I run my YouTube channel. And we let's talk about that. Many people will ask in the comments, Hey Glendon, what about this? YouTube? I don't do YouTube for YouTube. I do YouTube for Glendon. I've already made that determination that what do I want? Do I want views and internet fame or do I want money? Money. So this channel is designed and geared to make money. It's not designed to cure to get subscribers. It's not designed to get um, likes. This this is a this is a grown up channel. Um, I've been through many, many re reiterations and I really like where money, income and profit is going. I like the concept. I like the future. I like the planning. We're not going to be talking about this bubblegum stuff. We're not going to be talking about uh, creating a hustle. And let's talk to uh, many people who have price sensitivity because you broke Dick Danny. You penniless Priscilla. I got you. I understand you. There is more than enough free information on this channel to help you make some money. More than enough. You just got to watch videos. That's all you got to do. Watch videos, then take action. That's that's all you have to do. And what I'm going to do is start moving. This is this channel is almost 10 years old. So the next phase of the channel will be about small business real small business, sustainable small business, creating small businesses, which you know is going to be a two to five year journey. This will not be next one. You can create a hustle very quickly. You can get hustle money very quickly. But we, once again, uh, another thing I do is every morning I wake up and I create a playlist of older videos. So check out the community page. Watch those videos. If you don't have any money, you don't know what you want to do understood respect that watch the videos do not email me on facebook asking me a complicated questions about llc's uh if you ain't paying me i'm not answering i know that sounds mean-spirited but i'm at a different place in my life i have given and given and given and given and given and i will give even more but not in the manner which i used to give I'm going to give to the people who are like Arden Bolden. You know why I know his name? Because he posted, he participated, sometimes participated in the chat. And he put in, when I had disruptive mail, they were selling, saving a thousand bucks a month, had a paid off card, and he was 21 years old. I want more of that. I want more stories like that. And to get more stories like that, I'm going to have to change the content. So be warned, it's about to get wild and woolly up here because somebody like the, the video where I was talking about the bear slapping your face off. I was going through some of my older content and I was just like, oh, we got to bring some of this back. This is fun. And also with the five checking accounts. If I make it really hard for you to purchase a product or don't explain it cor correctly, you're not going to buy. And I'm not mad at you because why should you work hard to give me money? That makes no sense. That's silly. Like me working hard to give you a product for free. They will change your life. That makes no sense. It's silly. So that's gone. It was there. All you had to do was go to the website, click preview and watch. That was all you had to do. I got, man, it was getting some, it was getting hairy. I was like, okay, I, I got to change this up because this is too much. I'm working too hard to help people for free. There is no one that is listening to the sound of this who would ever be up 12 14 hours giving away people stuff for free you ain't doing that so 
let's get into why we're doing this. Many people are confused about how to start an LLC. There, there's so much information here on YouTube. Do you need an LLC? What about a sole proprietorship? Well, what about a holding company? Uh, I will be very clear and deliberate. If you have no intentions of starting a business, something in you scale, you don't need an LLC. You don't need a holding company. You don't need an operating company. It is incumbent upon you to make it rain. It is incumbent upon you to push upon yourself to build something. I can't give you that. I can give you the blueprint. I can give you the tools. I can give you a roadmap. I cannot give you the initiative, the get up and do something. I, I can't give that's on you. So we're going to put together these classes because there's a lot of people confused who are like, well, should I do this? Should I do this? Um, let's talk about savings. I think leaving 10, 20, 30, 40, even 100 or 200, $300,000 in the bank short term, short term would be six months to two years. You That's cool. If you don't know what to put your money, you don't know how to invest it. The best place for it is the bank or credit union. While you figure that out. Do not let anyone tell you don't do the bank. And it's getting to the point where people were to some places. They don't even take cash anymore. You need a bank account. If you are on check sets or whatever they have, you need to clean it up. Get yourself a bank account. Go to a credit union and get yourself together. It's going to be very, very important because the, the unbanked, as they're called, that's going to be a dividing line in class. Wait a minute. You don't have a bank account. That's going to be like having a house with no kitchen. Having a house with no bathrooms. It's like you as a grown person has no bank account. What's, what did you do? What's wrong with you? It's going to be that big of a thing. And we will also talk about the thought and formation of an LLC. Like, all right, why am I trying to start an LLC? What am I trying to do? I'll tell you my reasons. One of the biggest eradicators of wealth building capital is taxes. A good operating holding company, operating company structure will lower your taxes. This is one of the biggest. That's one. Of the, that's one of my biggest expenses. It's not my house. I don't have any car payments. I don't have any debt. I don't have any student loans. What we're going to go through is how to eradicate, reduce your debt load. <clears throat> well, all right. First of all, the LLC holding company operating income structure is aimed to mitigate and reduce your taxes, which is one of your biggest things. Like for folks who are making 100 K, you're paying twenty five, thirty thousand dollars a year in taxes. If you got you got half of that back, your life is changing. That gives you all kinds of attitude money. The second one. If you're a person in a situation where you have a lot of debt. You're going to have to accelerate your income. Uh, one of my biggest issues with Dave Ramsey and a lot of these, fi uh, well, and other financial people about say you're making 25 K you, you chances of you being rich and non-existent. I don't care how disciplined you are with your money. I don't care how you need to make some more money. You need to make some more money. There's just certain income levels. If you are married and you have a wife and 2.5 kids and together as a couple, y'all make 45 K. You ain't getting rich. It ain't going to happen. There's just too many expenses in the line. In that situation, you need to be at 100 to 150. I don't care what the government statistics say or um, the um, recommended. That's just feel good statistics. 72% of the people in this country are poor or close to it. We are a credit card debt junkie nation. How would your life change is the next time you wanted to buy a car, you went to the bank and you got a cashier's check. You walked in and say, look, I don't want to talk to anybody in F and I just show me the numbers. What's the lowest price you can give me negotiate. Fine. I'll be back. I'm coming back with a check for this number. Make sure everything's up taxes, all that. I'll be back with a cashier's check. I've done that a few times and they always freak out because the last time I did it, the guy said in 12 years, only two people have done that for the type of vehicle Two. this is why I talk about the 0.5%. 
So the next time you need a car, you pay cash. Next time you, you have an emergency, you, you go to one of your five checking accounts, you pull out a little money, you handle it because it's not coming out of direct cash flow. Or your, your direct cash flow is so high, like recently, like, all right, uh, I'll even say this. The green screens are going to get better. I, I f figured out the problem I had. I'm trying to shoot with two regular lights and two LED lights and the LED lights spill over into the green screen. And that's why I have that little green halo around my head sometimes. So I just knew I was going to need more lights. So I got six lights that should be showing up tomorrow. It's coming out of cash flow. That's not coming out of any of my savings accounts. Uh, car prepared. It came out of cash flow. It just means I will not be able to put away as much money this month as I used as I'm usually doing. That's all it means. It does not disturb my um, direct spending. And as I talked about, I don't think, well, I talked about in the course. One of the things that I do, and this is very rare, is my spending for the year, and I want you to be in this situation, is already predetermined. What it means is I made so much money last year, I was able to peel off a piece of money from last year, put it in a bank account, and that's what I'm paying my bills off this year. So whether I have a month where I make absolutely no money or I have a month where I make a million, that doesn't change in my bills. I can, you know, for this year, I can go the rest of the year without earning another penny. I want you to be like that. And you can. You really can. Because so many people have got this game wrong. Uh, once again, there are people saying you don't need an LLC. I think those people are full of low expectations. They just want to get, you know, do a little bit. Just a little bit more than the next man. That's all they want to do. And you know what? If that makes your heart happy, that's good. Fine. Cool. I don't care. We ain't doing that here. This is uh, for warriors. This is for people killing dragons. This is for people when they're my age who want to have two or three million dollar net worth. Who's starting off at 20. Or people who are 30 who when they 60 they want to have a two, three, four, five million dollar net worth. This is what this is for. We're we're not, once again, there's plenty of content on the channel for hustles. And uh, I'm gonna do an updated uh, version of this how to start a service business video that will be coming probably next week. Then we we're about to take this up a few notches. Not a notch or two, but a few notches because there are some of you who are thirsty for this kind of information. You're tired of the hustler porn. You're tired of the shysters. You're, you know, this is why when I do my videos, you see both my cars, you see my house, and you see my neighborhood. You can't fake all that. You notice these guys with the Lambos? I know one guy, he has two Lambos. He don't even own a house, but he makes money from those cars, so it's a little different. I know that there's some crazy stuff out there. I've been talking about certain people for years. So that's where we're going to go. All right. So let's see, see what's going on here. Not too many people here on a Thursday. <laughs> you know, it's funny when um, I upload earlier, I get more people on these live streams. I think it's the YouTube machine. What's up, Crep Junkie, the Upstart Development, Everett J. Smith, Johnny Walden, Romero, 89 Dr. Funk, uh, Dumas, if we do the monthly, no, let's talk about that, good question, I'm going to read it again, Dumas, if we do the monthly, we will still get the consultation for you to set up our holding and operating uh, LLC, no, and I'm going to tell you why, you go to a CPA, you go to an attorney. They don't work on monthly fees. It's like, hey, write me a check, run your credit card. Uh, that will only be for the people who pay in full or the holding. Um, H undergrad. Uh, that's the only thing I'm doing that. And one, I'm going to be really judicious with this. You should do it, too. When you start an online business, the most precious thing you have or the most cheapest thing you have, depending on where you are on the economic scale, is your time. I am very guarded with my time i'm very judicious with my time 
I am not going to. I, I actually, I'll tell you something that happened with somebody in PayPal. I, I haven't lost a PayPal dispute in like two or three years. What this joker did was take the information, form his LLC. I found it after he took my class. Then he had made some payments. Then he wanted a refund on everything. And he did a PayPal dispute. And my response was this screenshots of the person's LLC, all this other stuff. And I was like, you know, if I lose this PayPal dispute, I will fly to where this person is and I will personally sue them and include the cost of the suit. And I will start attachments. I don't know if that scared PayPal. The other person did not respond, but PayPal ruled in my favor. And once again, there's plenty of free information on here for you to get your life together. Uh, I was looking at some of the older videos. I mean, from 2011, 2012, some really good videos that you should listen to to help you get your life together. There is no reason to try to steal from me. And that's what I call it. When I've been over backwards to help people and someone, I, I will get irritated. I have a special account with money just to go sue people. Oh, I'm serious. Every time that I make a change to do something like the, my storage auction book, some website had my storage auction book verbatim on their on they pages. They read the book like, oh, this is good. Let's use it. I went after them so hard. That stuff was down in two days. What's up, hard breakdown? Uh, yes, you can do hustler undergrad through payments. I have not set that up. Money boy films. What's up? The Genesis products. The Genesis products. The things you're teaching is so ahead of the curve. It's unreal. Schools don't teach this. Life does. Thank you. Well, thank you, the Genesis project for the ten dollars super chat. Money boys fans for real. My my goal is the same as yours, bro. You so real. Okay, what are your goals, money boys fans? I'm curious. I want to know what you're talking about. Uh, boss life, are you still selling the Craigslist product in the five checking and bank account product? Hold on a second. Let me make sure that I don't have all these windows open. When you say the Craigslist product, what are you talking about? Before we go all over, all over there, the, the Craigslist product is like the hundred books, the hundred hours of training for a hundred books that includes the Craigslist stuff, the storage auction stuff, even some YouTube stuff in that hundred dollar for a hundred hours training package. So if that's what you mean and the five checking account product, you can get that in your basic financial management for one ninety nine, I think. Yeah, that's included in that. What's up, Lou Lewis? Lou the Stream TV. Um, hello, Glenda. I'm a sales rep for TV streaming company. It's thirty dollars a month. I get half. What course should I get? Um, I take it you're selling streaming and you get $30 a month. I'm, I'm not sure about your question. Uh, a Mura Haru. Do you have any information on MBE minority business enterprise DBE disadvantaged business enterprise? I have none. I don't feel I got a video called. I don't think I'm, a, I'm not a minority. I don't go like that. I go out there and compete not to be disparaging to you. But there will be nothing about minority business enterprise, that, nothing. Uh, what I'm going to teach you guys is how to compete on any field with anybody. That's what we're going to be doing. What's up, Everett Smith? I mean, 89 Dr. Funk is uh, crazy. What's up, Jenny Blake? General Sativa. What's up, man? Catch you live running to the CPA to get taxes straightened out, getting those two years of returns organized for the business loans in the coming years. And that's something you, you got to do. And a lot of people don't understand that, because if you expense everything, you will not be able to get any loans. You mean you bring in 250, but your your taxes go show you took home 35. The bank's going to go off that 35. I know 
It was funny. What's up, Raven Chat? Eat sense. Oh, I mean, people are debt junkies. I mean, I use I used to be that way. I mean, I've just changed over the years where I'm just only way I'm gonna buy a car on payments if it's a lease and I can write it off the, the lease payments. That's the only way I'm buying the car on payments. I am not doing it any other way. Everett, I want that feeling. Awesome. Uh, Tyra, I have a friend that do that. Exactly what? Melinda Reagan. I like that people are using their real names. That's a very good sign in the direction of the channel. That's a very good sign. Um, Michael Harris. Yep. What's the buy-in and what should we be looking for? I got a question. What do you want to do with your life? Awesome, Cody. Cosmic Wilson, uh, Cosmic Wisden. I want to set my LLC in advance of using it. Do I have to take money, take any money from an LLC every year if I rather reinvest the first five years to grow it? That's a great question. You could set up your LLC, pay the administration fee for year one and two, and the age still counts. And then you can start rolling money out of it in year three. I don't know, I mean. Uh, man, I got to say, things have changed drastically. I used to have people do that stuff all the time. Consistently. Now folks don't really do that. And I'm really, um, I'm really proud of that because uh, it's a different ball game. <laughs> no, man, I, I've been sued. I've been in court. And the first time you get served and someone's, you know, hello, may I speak to Mr. Cameron, yeah, that's me. Boom, you've been served. You get this fear, blood rushes all over your body, and you start freaking out in your heart. Oh, yeah. I mean, because you don't know what to expect. You really don't. Boss Life, how to sell on Craigslist. Uh, go back to a few uh, older videos, and you'll see the 100 hours for $100, and it has that stuff in there. Uh, well, let's see. You know what the numus if because there's only like a four hundred dollar difference between them. Uh, if you go ahead and you get the hustler undergrad deal, I will give you the consultation. Uh, Black Onyx, I believe you can make six figures in any business doing anything if it's about a scale. What's up, Royston? Thanks, Jenny. Oh, pay her bills for the yeah, cause that like all right. Let me let me tell you how that happened. And this is from the influence of my business partner. When we first started, income was like wild. It was like one month, whoa, forty k. You know, it's two people and the expenses, so it's not as much as you think. And then we had this month. It was just ridiculous. And my partner said, well, I'm going to take this money. I'm going to put it in my bank account so I can know how to pay my bills. And I was like, that's a good idea. Did that. Changed my life. I don't know of any other way to live. Because it takes so much stress off of you, knowing that you could pay your bills for a year and you still got money coming in. But once again, you know, who, 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 who mentions stuff like this? Who do you hear on any YouTube channel actually drop something like that and there's a reason why it's kind of hard to drop something like that when you've never done it and i'm talking about these folks who claim to be making two and three million dollars a year um, part of what we're going to get into is let's say you have a business your name is ed and your business is stroking out a hundred k a month after expenses you got 77 you should not live on that 77 i'm gonna tell you why business gets funny you could stroke it out, then one month you can have a crazy month. So you should live off 10% of that 77, which is $7,000, all right? Let's say eight. And then put money in the bank for the, you know, so you can grow your business. 
I've heard many entrepreneurs. I've been to conferences where people like, hey, I'm stroking it out. I'm spending this money. I got a 30 or $40,000 house note based on. I'm like, I hope it keeps going for you because if I had did stupid stuff when my book was hot, when it was hot, hot, and it was three, six to seven thousand dollars per day, seven days a week hot. I could have got myself into so much trouble that I intentionally lived humble. And also, I just didn't have a lot of desires at that point for other than my Craigslist protocols. Uh, yeah, warehouse reselling real estate. I have nothing for real real estate. I got plenty for warehouse. If you can get yourself a warehouse and you're going to need some money, this is nothing you can do with just nickels or, or steam or vapors. Let's say 15, 20 K you get yourself a warehouse and you get yourself some products and you sell online. You, you can do a lot with a warehouse. If I was selling physical products, I would have a warehouse may have to get one because uh, if you see my video where I'm talking about my home studio, I got an, the another side of the basement that is almost as big as this side that's unfinished where I can use as a warehouse. I don't like that because it's downstairs, but and then you've got all this traction. So more than likely, I would probably use the garage before I use the basement, but I got the room and I, and there's enough. Um, room to literally park six cars outside so and not even be on the street that's another reason i got this place thanks royston for the five dollars super chat all right the official sean jones i set up my llc properly i have articles of organization and operating agreement in place but i'm scared to be sued due to being a single member llc i'm not in a huge live business but still uh, let's talk about lawsuits if you don't make a lot of money and you don't do anything outrageously overt or stupid, your chances of being sued are nil. They're so high. They're, it's infinitesimal. Now, with that said, you have an LLC and you start making two fifty a month, million, a few millions a year. People will come after you. So it's really an issue of how much money you got coming in. That That's the game. That's the big game. Uh, Mark Scott, would you put a media company in holding or operational? I'm not answering that question, but good try. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, the, the rules of the holding company is the holding company does not do business with nobody. So you would automatically put it in our operating account. Holding company just collects money. What's up, Wayne Johnson? Cosmic wisdom. Amen. Yeah, I mean, it, it takes a lot of pressure off, man. It takes a lot of pressure. Um, You know what? You should start, Yeep. You should start, since you want to do resale, you should um go with 100 hours of training for 100 bucks. If you're going to do resale, that's where that information is. And then if you want more after you go through that, because essentially if you go through the Craigslist stuff and it ain't easy as it was when I was doing it. Okay. Let's just be honest. I could wake up on any given day and make two to $3,000 easily on Craigslist. It ain't like that. Now with that said, you in a position where you want to use some strategies I would say 1500 to 2500 per month consistently is not out of reach with resale and Craigslist in the beginning. So that was it. Because where are we going now? And I actually I put out in an email a little while ago. There are three modules to in money, income, and profit. There's a basic financial, there's investing yourself, there's income and amorphosis. The basic financial course, one-time payment, investing yourself, one-time payment. The third module will be a monthly charge. And then after I get all that started, I'm going to do, um, 
I don't know what I'm gonna call it. Uh, it would probably be inbound money, and that's gonna be a program doing what I do. And before we even get into, this is not gonna be something you can do your first of two years. You gotta build this up because uh, I just started spending money again on this channel. Last year, I didn't spend any money. All my income that came in was from a direct sales, direct response model. I made more money than people who were spending six and 700,000 on Facebook ads and YouTube ads. See, and this is something else we're going to talk about too. We're going to talk about profit. That's why there's money, income, and profit. Money is the red hat because money can be very loosey goosey. Income is blue because you have income, meaning you have it coming in next time. And then profit's black. One of the things I vigorously disagree with, and I see it all on the internet, is these low margin business models that uh, I can put something on Amazon and I can make six to seven percent. And because of the scale, I'm making good money. That is a recipe for disaster. I just don't understand it. I don't play that game. I'm not going to teach it. I just think it is ridiculous and it's stupid because one day Amazon is going to screw you over. I, I can tell you for I know this. Uh, I've helped transition about 10 people all making six high six figures or in a few cases of a few multiple seven figures off of Amazon. And it was a lot of work because once you get used to making money a certain way, it is so hard to change. Very, very hard. Eat since Macari. Uh, I never use Macari, but I've heard some stuff about it. Uh, yep, I've done that. I want the advanced stuff. Okay. All right. So I would say get in investing yourself then. Because we're going to be talking about some stuff that no one else is talking about. Running the business is like a game of Monopoly. If you if you land on the board, I earn two fifty. Pick up a card that says you've been served. Uh, I'm gonna speak of Christian Guzman. Uh, he has this athlete brand. I've been following this guy since he started because he used to be with Nikki Blackleather, and they all that that that's just like a family thing. They all grew their YouTube channels and businesses like crazy. But Christian, he's been sued. And I remember he said, we spent $250,000 on legal fees. And I would estimate Christian legitimately does. And I can even tell you how he, he does it because he explains it in one of his videos. He takes out a salary of 250 k which tells me that he probably has a few million coming in. And he's taking the rest of his income as distributions or dividends to lessen the tax hit. Or if he wants to get real slick, he can let the money ride and take it, take the profits out the second year and pay even less taxes. But a lot of people are so pressed, <laughs> they can't do that. What's up, Key? I'm loving the direction of the info. Which part will talk about limiting personal income by having an LLC to pick up expenses? We will get into that in... The Art of Holding Structure class, the one that I, which these classes are in the comments. I actually make sure that they're in the comments. That's three ninety nine. That will be the one. And the first class starts Sunday. Yeah, we're going to get into some serious businesses for serious people. One of the things that's happening, uh, someone who told me that a few people told me they went to 10x. I think uh, Erica, another dude, and someone else. That all of a sudden, they were talking about starting service businesses. What? Let me let me let me show you something. Uh, let me find it. I'm I'm so excited. I'm typing too fast. Uh, my fingers, man. But I, I've been cr creating coursework all day. All right, cool. Here we go. See, I, I went there. Now, 
This was March 13th, 2016. How to make instant money, how to make instant money, start a service business, making a living without a job, 2014. I have been talking about this stuff for five years. And you want to know why? If you are a person with limited skills, limited money, a service business is the fastest way that you can scale up with no money. Um, it's actually part of 30 days to 2500. I remember this dude. I can see his face. Cleaver. Cleaver was on one of the live streams and he said, I have no money. I'm living in someone else's house. And he said, what can I do to make some money? I said, start a service business. Cleaver went around his town. He was somewhere in Kentucky. He went in. He knew how to do computers. He, that day, he took action. He got a, a client. And he got more than a client because he ended up marrying the client's niece. And he ended up buying that house that he was living in. True story. From a service business because he said uh, his first month he made 2500 on his own with no investment because once again and there's so many different service businesses you can start you just and we will be talking about that and in investing yourself uh, one of the things that I'm doing is I'm going slow I'm doing a lot of research so this is not going to be super super fast but it'll be fast enough where you can get good quality information that will stand the test of time because right now you broke but you of able body you in good health you could start a painting service on Craigslist, and this time next year, you could be close to six figures starting with a brush and a can of paint. Serious. But it's hard work. <laughs> That's what it is. It's hard work, and a lot of people don't want to work that hard. They just don't. All right, so. All right, let's see. Uh, Ricardo Roper, don't don't focus on the economy. One of the reasons that I started talking about recessions was to get people ready. I thrived in the recession. If you are well positioned, well capitalized, don't worry about a recession. You can make money doing virtually anything. All right, Rons, you will be getting that. General Sativa, that's like one of your first lessons. In <laughs> yeah, I mean. We have so many people out here who are making chump change, and I don't mean to be disrespectful, but we got grown people out here making 30 and 42 K a year living that American debt life cycle. And they're not happy and they're trapped. This student loan debt thing is going, it's no joke. They're going to be coming for your paychecks. They're going to start taking, taking student loan money potentially out of your paychecks. So you're going to have to be forced to be off the books, off the books, man. Thank you for the $10 super chat, Dr. Funk. What's up, Al Gordon? Yeah, that's one of the things you got to do because I have been broke, beyond broke, under broke. And I know what it is to not have and, not, and want some. Donna Branch, this world and its things will perish and others will have things after you have departed. Stop your treasure internally by being saved. Um, okay, I'm, I'm not. Here's my thing. Donna. I almost died. Serious. And when I got better, I decided to have my heaven here on earth. And one of the things that I do is I serve thousands of people. Thousands. So we'll see how what God thinks about that, because this channel has changed lives. And it has saved people from financial ruin. So that's what I'm working on. Crep junkie, they already do that in the UK with student loan debt. I didn't know that, man. Crep Chunky, where exactly are you in London? I was in, I was near the Eye of London. I forget, I forget, it's, the name just escapes me. 
because that was by um, actually two train stations. I don't have my phone. I will look it up. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> e Jesus. You know, I saw some from uh someone on Facebook. He called them E thugs. I don't really I look, this is mild what Donna put up. I had people sending me scripture and crosses and all kinds of stuff to my mailbox. This this mild. <laughs> I tell my models this all of Ebony Empire. I tell my models all the time, work the site to provide service, then create relatable products. I'm in Elephant and Castle down the road from the London Eye. I was staying in, um, God, I can't remember the hotel. It's been a long day. But it was one of the oldest train stations, which was literally around the block. But it'll come to me. Oh, London, here's the thing. And this is why I don't really get into uh, the, 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 the black thing. And many people hate that I don't. When I was in London, I got pictures of school kids, little white kids, little black kids, little Indian kids, and little Asian kids, all in their little suits and jackets. They look sharp. And that's just the way the world's going. A lot of people just don't want that. So... That 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 is one of the uh, amazing things. Each since the only real men believe in Jesus. Glendon, did you read the bumper sticker seriously though? It, it, it it's it's a thing. It doesn't really offend me at all. Not patterning station. It was um. Nope, I don't have an IG. Uh, nope, it wasn't UFO station. No, it was none of that. But it is is bothering me, and I'm going to find it because I do believe I got pictures on this computer. I took a lot of pictures when I'm in London, and that's something else too. I want everybody to travel more. You know, at least take one or three trips a year. Go somewhere you've never been, and you know, live a little bit. Enjoy yourself, you know, because once again, I don't believe in. Um, I'm going to leave some money here on this earth for a family, but I'm also going to spend a little bit, too. <laughs> I'm going to spend a little bit. I'm going to have a good time. All right. That's my first vid summit. And also start taking a lot of pictures and videos. If you're going to do a YouTube channel, I can tell you, you won't take a lot of pictures because something that you can take. Wow. Okay. All right. Is it uh, London Underground? I had an oyster card. Nope. That's not it. Because I took a picture of it. I took so many pictures. Matter of fact. I'm looking at the school kids now. I actually got around quite a bit on the bus. And I did a lot of taxis. Taxis in London are, are, are like crazy expensive. They really are. Let's see. Hold on a second. Lamberth. I was at I was literally in Lamberth, England. That's where I was. I knew it was going to mess with me until I found it. I was in uh let's see. I uh, 
Crep Junkie. Oh, really? I went to Madame Tussauds. And then I saw all of that stuff. They got the Hulk. I got pictures of that. I, I may actually do that as a backdrop. Knightsbridge. That's where the rich folks live. That's why I saw the Rolls Royce parked outside. Blew my mind. Singapore is nice. Uh, get on the plane and go outside these United States, man. It, it will, it will kind of shock you, but it broaden your horizons. Trav, I transitioned to weapon development. Should I start a business now or wait to get the experience first? Uh, I would get experience. Mikey Darko, service-based businesses really are the most immediate way of making money. I just started my cleaning business last month. I'm already, that's what I'm saying, man. Congratulations, Mikey. That, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's the fastest way to go from broke dick Danny to pay Percy. Oh, yeah. The drone is a lot of fun now. I want the advanced course. That is nothing's going on there. Well, what I'm doing is that's a $3.99 a month. That would be income metamorphosis. I'm one stop from up there. Okay. Yep. Three Kings. We're currently about to release a product from our website. It will probably sell out. We won't have enough money to reorder until we sell current batch. How would this affect our business? <clears throat> it's going to seriously jack up your, your cash flow. Um, I see this all the time. I saw this with some of my Amazon clients that they will order and have to wait weeks. What you want to do is get enough money to get bigger orders. You can create a waiting list, but a lot of them are going to disappear. All right, Crep Junkie coming to Dallas and Atlanta later this year. Awesome. What's up, Charlatan? Oh, really? I went to Paris up at, um, God, what is that? I went to Paris. I went to nottingham i forget the name of it it's the place where they had all those children's stories because from that's major it's the major station actually hold on because <laughs> this is bothering me all right so i can actually find this um i went to the british museum and here's another station that was lamberth okay i already covered that and then Aha. Camden, England. That was uh, Camden, Camden Station. And um, I went to Paris. It was like two hours. Uh, business is good if your mindset is good, man. The drones become fun because now I figured out what to do with it. What's up, Jerry Westbrooks? I love the fact that people are using their real names. Because uh, I used to have some crazy stuff up in here. It was crazy. All right. How long have we been on here? Um, once again, let's see. Let me go ahead and get into this. So if you're broke, here you go. This is the best way to do it. Uh, and read around. You may find some stuff in here because we're going to start touching onto more online stuff. We'll, you know, offline. It just depends on who you are. If you're in Tupelo, Mississippi, and you might have to do the painting thing and just go out and paint houses. Money, income, profit. All right. So for oh, it's two ninety nine. I haven't changed that yet. So to get into it, like, all right, money management, the basics of finance, wealth and development is a one time payment of one ninety nine. If you that's all you got and you get in that and then you want to move up to investing yourself. What we're going to do is give you one ninety nine off plus 50 bucks. So you get a little extra to get into it because money management is in investing yourself and money management is also an income metamorphosis. That way, when people come in the future and they want to buy something and so say, hey, Glendon, you know, can we I, I don't want to do all that. So it's just going to be I'm building this for the future. So someone can come in and like, oh, I want this. I can get this. I want this. I can get this. So that's what's going on. And the links to everything 
are under the video and they should be in the first two comments. Oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot. I, I mean, I've been working on this all day. There is now is a new email list. And if you're on the old new email list, I am not going to port them over, meaning that I can export the email list. No, I'm starting from scratch. I think it's like 480 people on the new one. And the link is below. So if you want information about money, income, and profit, that's what I'll be drawing. I'll be doing more emails. I'll be doing more writing. So it's going to be very interesting the rest of the year. Dunna days. That's interesting. That sounds like some venture capital stuff. That sounds like some uh, Silicon Valley stuff there. Because this is another thing, too. And I had some employees, not last year, but the year before. Everybody's kind of looking like the Internet startup model of instant pay. And I also saw this go into a restaurant the other night. That a lot of places like you work that day, you get paid that day. It's, it's like the day labor thing, which would have been a godsend back in my day. It would have. It would have been crazy. It would have been like amazingly crazy because there was a few situations I I had to be late on rent because I couldn't access my money until like two days after. It was like a sixty dollar late fee. I was I'm still salty about that. I really am. All right, so that's why I am doing this, and we will get into some very interesting strategies. If someone on YouTube puts up, you don't need an LLC and you want to question them and say, look, what if I want to build a substantial enterprise and I have plans on hiring people? Because this is one of the things. Let's say you don't know what you want to do and you put off getting an LLC for a while. And let's say two years down the road, you're like, OK, I'm about it. I'm going to file my papers. You've just lost two years of age. And let's talk about, let's say you just set up an LLC and you don't know what you want to do. You set up a holding company, you set up an operating company. Depending on what state you're in, I actually have to pay my administration fees. I'm going to pay 75, I think 300 bucks to keep them active because you have to pay your administration fee every year. That's why you don't want to start a new LLC in December because then they're going to hit you up a few months later. So, and we'll be talking about C Corps, which most people are not set up. I mean, if you, all right, let's say, let's say you had $500,000 and you were going to start a business that you would want to acquire capital with, meaning that someone's going to invest in your business, you would give them X amount of shares. You would need a C Corp to do that because instead of you, because you can only have so many shares and members of an LLC. But let's say you have 500,000, you follow C Corp, you make an, another C Corp or, well, we'll keep it simple. You follow C Corp as a holding company, which gets complicated. You're going to need help. Then you follow another, an LLC as an operating company and you run the company through that LLC. Then you have another investor who's like, look, I drop a mill and I want 25% of the company. So through that C Corp, you can give them shares in exchange for their million dollars. So if you're doing it like that, yes, you would have to do a C Corp. If you're going to start a painting service and you're going to have 10 trucks, an LLC and a holding company, LLC and operating company will do you just fine. So it just really depends on what you're doing. We'll be talking about a lot of that stuff. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do is go in depth because some people like, hey, I heard that getting a C court was the best thing. Is it for you and what you want to do? We don't know until we just go down the, that road. We have no clue. So we'll talk about S corps. We'll talk about LLCs. We'll talk about C corps. We'll talk about what you need to do. You will be formally educated on one day you may have an idea where you may want to bring in venture capital or you may have a business you want to go public. If you want to go public, you're going to need a C Corp. 
I mean, it all starts with what you want to do. Uh, Darren, I don't know. You're going to have to take the class because see, uh, and, and watch this video a few times because I'm not trying to be unreasonable. But when you ask a question like that, and I have no clue to what you're doing. I have no clue what state you're in. It, it's, sometimes you're just going to have to pay that money and talk to a local professional about your particular situation if it's a little tricky. I mean, that's what you're going to do. And then, you know, we're going to talk about the, per the the single man holding company in LLC. You've got to do this before the cat or the horse leaves the barn. You got to do this before. My situation, I was looking over some stuff. Uh, I don't think she's ever going to go back to court again because the way I set stuff up, she would get in trouble. Which is very interesting because she, she did not want to go to court. I had no problem going to court. That should tell you a lot. So we, we will get into all of that stuff. First class will drop Sunday, probably like 6 p.m. or maybe earlier. Um, what I'm going to do, like today was my administration day. I, I didn't do any videos. The video that I uploaded this morning was already done. Uh, I have nothing else. I'm going to have to start making some videos. So probably will be not no more videos this weekend after the day. And then we'll start off Monday with some stuff. So, OK, hopefully everyone's got it. If you want to partake, if you want to participate, there's many ways you can get in. Just read the description down below and the links and stuff will be there. Oh, yeah, man. YouTube is gangster like that. So with that, I'll see you.